can try and film and skate at the same time. It is April 2018 and John Reese White and I are revisiting our Pixel Stick video. Uh, we made a, an original video which was us trying it out for the first time but he's been using it for a year, maybe a year and a half now so hopefully this will be a bit more informative about how to actually use it. This is our meeting place of choice. Hold on, let me turn this down a bit, turn this down a bit. Right, this is John Reese White, my friend. Tell people where they could find you if they want to see some of your work. How's it going, kids? <laughs> uh, you can check out my stuff at john.media or Facebook slash john.media. That was very professional. <laughs> We've got a bit of time to kill before the sun goes down. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Um, but we're just going to prep some stuff and uh, we're just brainstorming some ideas at the moment. Here she is at the moment. Once these friggin' motorcycles have gone! We need a way that I can know when you're recording and when you're not recording. It's, it's recording. Yeah. Here we go. That's you. That's how you oh, appear shit, to the... smile. So looking like such a miserable... That's how you appear to the rest of the world. Yeah, you should buy my stuff and they'll be like, yeah! <laughs> what merch have you got? What are you selling? Oh my god. I got prints, I got prints, I got more prints. I got prints of prints, probably. I could find prints of prints for you. This has gone heavy on the sales, it really has very quickly. Right, we're live again. We're going live. Okay. Tell me why you bought a pixel stick in the first place. No, it's an interesting genre. And uh, I quite like toys. So I thought it would be uh, something to experiment with. Um, last time we were out, we painted a 747 in front of the British Airways I360. That was cool. Uh, and tonight we're going to paint rainbows all over town. <laughs> all right, so should we have a look? All right, get her out then. So, the Pixel Stick comes in the wonderful black velour case yeah. with, with no velour in it with two pockets. It comes with two parts. Both parts look pretty much like this. This one's got a battery pack on the back. This one's got the controller on the back. And the two parts hiding under here. Look at all those beautiful so, LEDs. So they can be any colour they want? Yeah, pretty much. 100 sexy LEDs. And then there's another 100 hiding under that bit in the floor. <laughs> and that clips in nicely, like that, and then... Would you say it's well built? Yeah. I mean, certainly the metal bit of it's well built. The LEDs are vulnerable, but, you know, they're little bits of electronic -y guff. Battery pack plugs into control unit. Control unit actually has an on switch, which I forgot last time. <laughs> and then, there you go. Nice. So, we have power. Have you seen any of the cheap alternatives? Or had a go on one? I've seen recently uh, some company on Facebook advertising something which is blatantly just a pixel stick, but not a pixel stick. It's about as copyright infringement as you can possibly get, <laughs> which I think sucks because Bit banger who put this together and do a pretty good job and they gave me some pretty solid customer service when I had a slightly unusual transatlantic experience. Can you buy these in the UK or you just chose to uh, get it in America? No, you can buy them in the, in the UK. They work, sell them, park, sell them. I was in the States at work anyway, uh, in Brooklyn, which is where these come from. So I thought I'd go and see if I could grab one first time. They're from Brooklyn, sweet. Yeah. This is the handle. So if I wanted to spin it, I hold it here, and then spin it around at ease. All right, talk me through uh, how the images get on to the Pixel Stick in the first place. Uh, so, um, beg, borrow, steal, or create your own favourite image, um, possibly downloaded from the internet, um, bung it into Photoshop or whatever it is that you use to edit your images and save it as a 24 bit map um, Windows BMP. Previous light painting photography was based upon fire, torches, um, wire wool, and then this is a bit of a game changer really isn't it? Because now well, you it can... is, because now you can use 200 LEDs to create fire, torches, wire wool and other <laughs> stuff. It's like, you know, all of the results with none of the dangerous fun. <laughs> the, um, the old columns from the West Pier have now been put into a spiral formation on the seafront. Uh, so probably return here later and that they've already got lights in them as yeah, well haven't they? That'll be good. We are at our first location which is on the beach uh, behind the Palace Pier. Most people know as 
Brighton Pier. Look at the pro in action. So tonight we'll be shooting with a Nikon D750. Oh, you just swore. I'm going to have to bleep that out. Other <laughs> photographers use Canon, or as I like to call them, Nikon replicas. Other good cameras are available. Yeah. Let's give it a whirl and see what happens. Right, it's going. It's backwards. Hey, Brittany. <laughs> You've got Brittany Spears on your screen. What does that actually say? Oh. It says, oh, baby, baby. <laughs> I think we need to dial the brightness up a little bit. Far direction, left to right. So you're pumping up the brightness on the actual stick itself. Yeah. We're leaving the camera settings as they are. Yeah. Go! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have... He's got Britney Spears and Oh Baby Baby in front of the figure. So, interesting fact about the Pixel stick. It actually has here a remote firing trigger. So if right. you really are wanting your cameraman to fire the stick rather than you for maximum accuracy. In case uh, he's a Canon user or something, yeah. Yeah. Right. I'll jam the brightness up. Right, ribbon number two. So this is our next location. We've got the donut, then if you look over that way, focus. Uh, you've got the British Airways i360 over there. John's bitching about carrying loads of stuff that he brought with him. <laughs> I do that all the time. Like, oh, I've got to carry two, two or three cameras around. I've brought two or three cameras with me. This is our new backdrop. We just found a really sweet uh, shop front. And we're gonna see if we can compete with the brightness with the pixel stick. Pixel stick cannot compete with this shop front. I mean, this is, this is bright. We found a new composition. We are in the lanes. The light levels around here are a bit more manageable. I'm going to go for some sort of ribbon or sweeping. Sweeping statement. John and I are lagging a bit because we haven't had a good shot in a while. Yeah. We're powered by awesome photos. When we don't get any in the bag we start to get a bit ratty. We've left the lanes, it's a bit too bright. Come back down to the seafront again. Come in search of darkness. Okay, so this is the sculpture we were talking about earlier. John and I just gravitate towards the West Pier. We just cannot get away from the pier. I think I've got some sea spray on my camera. You look glowy like a movie star. Right, so compared to part one of uh, this video, part two, what have we learned? The the pixel stick can't really compete with the brightness of city centre lights. Just because you're waving around a magic wand with colours, uh, it doesn't mean that a crap composition uh, is not a crap composition. <laughs> and it's fun to hang out with your mates at 11.30 on a Sunday night. A freezing, cold, glowy, weird night. Because this is easier than a selfie, I can get us both <laughs> in the reflection. Thank you to John for joining me for this video. Oh, thank you to Ben for uh, gimbling for me. <laughs> <laughs> Normally it gets the other way around. Hopefully you've got something out of this. Yeah. And um, if enough people like it, maybe we'll make a third one. Thank you for watching. Yeah.